it's your guardian with Skitty Boy Randy. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome to my channel. Hello, everyone. Hello, my waiver backers. If you don't know what a waiver backer is, join the channel. You'll find out. Okay, okay. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome to Garden with Skinny Boy Randy, where beginners and experts are always welcome. I love having you guys here. This is just a channel of gardening, having fun, and loving on each other, and loving on our gardening, and loving on growing our own food. Okay, okay, because we ain't got no money over here on this channel. We like to grow our own food, so we ain't got to go to the grocery store and buy too much food. Okay, okay. You guys, it's almost 71 degrees here in Zone 7, Richmond, Virginia. Forgive me. If the light is blinding me, y'all, I be blinding out the car. Now I'm one YouTubers. I fall out. And then come right on back. Thank you so much for being here. Hello, you guys. Welcome. If you're new to the channel, welcome to Gardening with Skinny Boy Randy, where beginners and experts are always welcome. If you're new, click that like and subscribe button. It's down there somewhere. I never remember where to put my finger. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Leave a thumbs up, thumbs down, just not the two middle fingers, okay? Okay, thank you so much for being here. Also, click that bell next to that big red square that says subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. Click that bell, you get a notification every time I make a video. I, did I just say every time? <laughs> every time I make a video, and that is about every 25 seconds. All right, <laughs> thank you. Also, if I can't answer a question here, head on over to my Facebook group. And then slide on back. That group is called Garden with Skinny Boy. Randy, we're beginners and experts are welcome. If I can't answer a question here, trust and believe. Somebody can answer that question over there. Because those are some question answering people. I even go over there and ask them questions all the time. Okay? Because somebody's going through what you're going through. And if nobody told you they love you today, I do. Skinny Boy Randy loves you. Nobody told you they love you today. Skinny Boy Randy loves you. Thank you so much for being here and watching. Y'all, I'm not going to hold you long. Just wanted to make a quick video on what you can be doing in February. Five tips on winter seed sowing. Things that you can get started in a small space, large space, a raised bed, in a cup. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but yeah, just five tips on different things that you can do right now in February. I know, you know, we want to plant. So, here are some things that you can do right now in February and get your garden started so when spring comes, you'll be set to go. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to check out Instagram and Twitter. I always forget that, y'all. Okay. But yes, go over and check out Instagram and Twitter. I love you. Thank you so much. Tip number one, start your seeds indoors if you like. I'll show you how. Let's go. That was cheesy. Okay, you know, you can always grow seedlings indoors, you guys. This is a simple, easy method. Of, co of course, you know, I got a lot going on. But this is for gardening with Skinny Boy Randy and, and teaching purposes. But yes, you can always start your seedlings indoors in con cups or containers in a six-pack or in little uh, containers over there. Those are potatoes. We have tomatoes. We have, you name it. We got spinach. We got everything growing, you guys. You can start your seedlings indoors under a grow light. Thank you to Spider Farmer for that grow light. Yes, you guys. And that grow light, I can have my seedlings all the way on the floor. And it will give off the correct amount of lumens and calvins to make the plants grow. As you can see, we have no legginess. We have everything growing. I've transplanted some things. But yeah, this is one of the um, ways that you can start your garden in winter time. Okay? Okay! Okay, you guys, another tip, milk jug gardening. It can be snow on the ground, which we're expecting snow in a few hours. Yes, it's 71 degrees right now, it's on 7 Richmond, Virginia, and we're expecting snow this evening. Okay, Mother Nature does what she want to do when she want to do it. Okay, we ain't mad at her. Mother Nature does what she want to do. But these are our milk jugs, and all we did was take some milk jugs and cut them around the rim, leaving the handle on, and... Filled it up with soil and put some seedlings in it. Well, we put the seedlings in there before we taped it up. And you just cover it up, you know, a regular planting. Nothing's happening with this lettuce in here. Okay. But if you look in this one, this is some kale. The milk jug gardening, you guys, it's working. You see kale in there? Yep. These have sat out in the snow. Rain, sleep, and everything else. So, yeah. And then over here, 
You just take what you have and make it work. Nothing's happening in this one. Okay? We're planting cool weather crops in those. But that's another way that you can do some winter seed sowing right now in February. You can do the milk jug gardening. A lot of people call it winter gardening. Um, yeah, pretty much. Okay, okay. So that's another tip that you can use. Do the milk jug gardening. I have a video on it. And I'll try to leave the link. Y'all know I'm still working. And let you know how it goes. But keep on following the milk jugs. Try that. Okay, tip number three. In a greenhouse, if you have a greenhouse or a high tunnel or make your own makeshift greenhouse, take uh, containers, and this is just leftover containers from takeout. Uh-huh, and you can put them in the garage. You know, I have uh, my plant sitting right next to the opening of the garage. We don't drive cars in here. We just use it for storage. And, and look at that. This is the lettuce and it's a mixed lettuce and all I did was put it in a container like this, put a lid over it and sit it right here in my greenhouse and I'll keep the seed pack down there. Check out honestseedco.com you guys. This is Honest Seed. This is Honest Seed Co. Honest Seed Co. Just C-O. HonestSeedCo.com. If you mention Skinny Boy Randy, you'll get a 20% discount. I'm going to leave the link in the description box. But look at their seedlings, you guys. Look at that. Look at look at this lettuce. This is the... Uh, at the they give you so many seeds, you guys. This is salad bowl lettuce. Mm -hmm. Grown in the container from HonestSeedCo.com. So I just put that back in there like that. And then we have another brand over here. This is from the Dollar Tree lettuce. And the wind got so strong the other day, you guys, it blew this container over. They were full, just uh, not as full, but they were kind of full. And the wind blew it over and knocked it over and some of the stuff is still on the ground. But that's another way that you can grow your seedlings in February during winter. Okay. Okay, you guys. Another method is to direct sow into your raised bed or into your garden bed directly in winter. On a day like today, it's 71 degrees. The soil is nice and moist. You see this, y'all? It's the middle of winter. It was hard as ice the other day. But it's nice and warm right now. You can get out there and work that soil, y'all. Turn it over a little bit. You know, give it a little aeration. Yeah, I just made that word, yep. Aeration. But yeah, you guys, all you want to do is just clear you out of space. In your raised bed. Because the seeds are going to do what they want to do when Mother Nature tells them what to do. Okay? So, this method here is direct sawing into your garden bed and all you want to do is get you a cup some plastic cups snip you two holes i mean three or two or three depending on how big you snip it with your scissors i thought i had my scissors right here you guys i left them in the house but anyway just snip you two holes right there okay get your seedlings your cool weather crops that you want to start these are from honest seed co you guys, make sure you check out HonestSeedCo.com and mention Skinny Boy Randy. Get 20% off your order and free shipping, y'all. The seeds are pretty much almost free. Go over there to Honest Seed Co. All right. So what I'm going to do right here is put some champion collars. This is just for video sake, you guys. And I want to show you and I'll come back and give you an update. So all I'm going to do is just clear a space. Oh, look at that. Look at there, look at there, a red tater. A red tater from last year. Ain't that something? Look at God. Ain't that something? Ain't, ain't there no more taters down here? <laughs> now I had to really mess it up, y'all. I didn't mean to do this. But yeah, okay. So all I'm going to do is just clear a space, you know, deep enough so I can put my cup in there like that. And I'm going to cover the cup and surround it like that, okay? see and then surround your cup and what you've done is just made a mini greenhouse 
Okay, you guys, y'all see that? That's how you make a mini greenhouse. You don't need a whole bunch of stuff. A mini greenhouse before your very eyes, okay? And then just take your cup, lift it up. <laughs> I know it's gonna mess up the soil a little bit. Plant your seedlings, and these are champion collards. Just gonna plant a, a couple there because we're gonna thin them out. Oh, Lordy. I'm gonna have collards growing in the yard this year, y'all, because I just dropped some of the seeds. But that's what they look like. And I'm just gonna take about 10 and, and pop them right down in there. This is for video purposes, you guys. Take my cup, put it right back over there. Just like that. Can y'all see that? Y'all know on my camera acting funny, but I got a new one coming. Thank you for the person that saw my video showing that I needed a new camera. But you see how deep that that is down there? Compared to how tall it normally is, see? Yeah. And then you just take it and cover it with soil. Just like that. Okay. Let me do another one for you. You can go right next to it, right here. Dig a hole. Put your cup down in there. Surround your cup so you can know how you know. Make sure your hole is deep enough. And all this is doing is making you a mini greenhouse, you guys. And you know what? This video was intended to be a part of another video, but I'm just going to go ahead and make this video about this video. <laughs> How to make your own mini greenhouses using plastic containers. Yes, you guys, you can do it two different ways. So this is one way. Yeah. Wow. Okay, God. See how God do God. So he going to do what he want to do and tell me where to go and how to go. This is a video on doing your instant greenhouses. Y'all see that? Thank you, Panera Bread, for the cup. You know, you know, when you go to Panera Bread and order something. So, okay, again, I'm going to take the cup out. And, you know, the little bit of soil will fall down in there. And now on this one, and you guys, you be like, Randy, you didn't label. Yeah, because I'm recording and I can go back and look at it. <laughs> but these are uh, broccoli. Honest Seed Co. Check out Honest Seed Co. And I love the Ziploc bags that they come in. Some of them come with instructions, but you can always look up your instructions, you guys, and just get your few broccoli seeds, uh -huh. and just drop them in there, just like that, okay, a little soil over top, your cup back on top, just like that, cover, cover, and cover, you don't have to worry about the wind blowing it away. Or anything okay so now if you just have a regular cup well all the cups are regular but if you have one with a lid on it I have a lid for this veneer cup as well you can do it the opposite direction you guys I'm not gonna use my frazzle cup I just drank a slushy out of there and it might have a lot of sugar in it but uh yeah just take the same cup you would still cut your holes in the bottle, okay? And you would still make your hole the same way. Oh, I thought that was another tater. <laughs> okay, just make your another hole. Put your cup down in there like that. The opposite direction, just to see how far you need to go up. Okay? Like that. I'm gonna make sure I'm getting this. see it okay I just stuck it just I dug a hole put the cup down in there like that because I know how far I want it up okay and then cover it up with the salt this is your measuring tape okay and these are instant raised beds I mean uh, instant greenhouses yeah inside of the raised beds during winter okay you see how the cup is open you will still have your um your hose at the bottom like that now see how that hole looks just a regular hole go down there like that now what you would do is fill this up to the soil level just as if it was like that do a, a pressing not a mashing y'all like that just fill it up to the same level of the soil 
You're going to put your seeds in. I'm going to do some New Zealand spinach from Honest Seed Co. Y'all, the sun is out. And like I said, 71 degrees. But we're going to do some New Zealand, New Zealand spinach from Honest Seed Co. Dot com. And no, you guys, they are not sponsoring this video, but I just love their company. And they always sponsor us. So I'm going to drop four seeds in here like that. Just give it a little sprinkle of soil on top. Enough to make sure it's covered. And y'all, we're supposed to get snow tonight. And with these cups, if you have a lid, you just pop the lid on. You don't have to put any holes or anything at top because the uh, the rain and everything will get through that little hole right there. You'll have your holes at the bottom and your holes at the top. Okay, so that's how you can make many greenhouses, you guys, with what you have. We already have planted too many greenhouses. I have to put the holes at the top. That's the only thing. And we have one just in a, a regular cup. Holes at the bottom, hole at the, at the top. Thank you guys so much for being here. I love you. You are absolutely amazing. This was supposed to be a part of another video, but okay, okay. This is how you start your winter gardening in February. Things that you can plant in your raised bed. When the weather cools off, uh, I mean warms up and lets you uh, work your soil, go ahead and put you some stuff down in the ground. Okay, okay. Thank you guys. Thank you guys and ladies and everyone. You are the best. Remember to live, love, laugh, grow stuff and eat it. Okay, one other way you can do it, and not the only way, but another way you can do it, is plant your seeds directly in the soil. So, what I would do is clear a space off in your raised bed or in your garden bed. You know, make sure you have great growing soil. And just um, make a trench with your hand, just like that. See that? Just a little trench. And then make another one. Okay? Okay. Easy as that. While the weather is cooperating and giving you some warm soil, what you can do is plant some seeds. Because what's going to happen is they'll just sit there. They'll sit there until the time is right. They'll just sit there. So we're going to put, just as just for demonstration purposes, we're going to put some New English, uh, New England, New Zealand spinach right there. Okay. From Honest Seed Co. Just some New Zealand spinach from Honest Seed Co. And then cover it up. And we're going to leave this alone, y'all. Mother Nature will do her thing because they fall in the ground anyway. In nature. And then we're going to come in with our broccoli. I'm going to come down here because I love broccoli. And I want to grow more of it this year. So I'll probably be moving it to another location because it takes a long time. And it takes up space. It needs its space. So I'm just going to put some broccoli seeds there. And just sprinkle it along this road. Yep. Just drop a few seeds, you guys. What will stand through the winter will stand through the winter. What does not, it was not meant to be. And then just cover that up. And you guys, I, I, I'll be able to go back and label because I'm making a video. So I know exactly where I'm planting everything. <laughs> And then we're going to do some champion collards in this third row over here. I have a lot of those growing because I grew them this past season and they were so delicious and amazing. From Honest Eco. Yeah, check out Honest Eco. Use my promo code, Skinny Boy. And you'll get an excellent discount and free shipping. I think it's 20% off. Yeah, use the link that I, I have in the description at the bottom, you guys. And you'll get all of the great benefits. Your seeds are almost free. And then I'm going to cover this up. And I'm going to leave it alone. Okay? Okay. Thank you guys so much. You can just take you some little markers so you know exactly where you planted things. But I know exactly where I plant things because I'm just so... Mm. Mm. on top of just trying to be on top of 
But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned a little bit today. Remember, live, love, laugh. Grow stuff and eat it. You can grow stuff in winter time to be ready. Look at that. We just direct sold some things over there. We just direct sold, sold some things over there. And we have our milk jugs over there. And we have the greenhouse over there. And then we have the seedlings inside. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here.